Hey guys, so today we're gonna to talk about making money in 2023. So the topic of today's video is gonna be, it's not gonna be easy to make money in 2023. The main reason is because the time of easy money is now over. As you guys already know, Jerome Powell is already going to continue to keep hiking rates and interest rates are just gonna go through the roof. Inflation is not really cooling down. And as you already know, if we actually try to get our inflation rate all the way down to about 2%, we're gonna be at least going up to 10% unemployment rate. As of right now, we're at about 3% unemployment rate. So unemployment rate is gonna at least triple to an extent for everything to actually cool off. So I do think that things are gonna get significantly worse. And as you already know right now, uh, the real estate is not as hot. It's pretty stable relatively at the moment. But at the same time with stock markets, I think stock markets this entire year is also going to be a deer market. So we're probably not gonna have a whole lot of movement. It's gonna be range bound relatively because everybody is just gonna be holding onto their cash. No one's really interested in investing it because if you hold your cash position the way it is, it's a lot more stable than putting into stocks because if you put into stocks, you might even be down you know, 10, 20% depending on how the S&P performs. And you know, as you already understand, stock markets could be relatively volatile depending on whatever news comes out. And there's just so much economic uncertainty given you know what's going on with the Fed and everybody just like going crazy. All right, so let's talk about what we could actually do this year to make money. So the tough thing is that stock markets are most likely not going to be doing anything for this entire year. The entire year, we're probably gonna be just like, you know, dealing with like a flat market, a deer market overall, it's probably something between like a range bound S&P. So between like 4,000 and then around uh, 3,700, and it's just gonna trickle back and forth. So a simple strategy you could probably deal with it is just, you keep buying off the support of 3,700, and then once it hits to the 4,000, you basically sell it. Or the other thing you could even be doing is just, you sell cover calls or you sell naked puts um, in a safe range along the blue chip stocks. That's probably like the easiest way you're going to be making money in 2023. The other thing you could also be doing is focusing on just working your job. Like as much as it sounds like a very simple thing to do, I do think that 2023, working a job and just saving as much money as you can for an opportunity is probably the safest thing you could do because a lot of these people that always preach like, oh, you know, like DCA, DCA, like if you've been DCAing into the S&P for the entire two years, you probably have like a negative return of at least like, you know, 20% or whatever, if you're just like picking your own stocks because everything got hammered from 2021 all the way to now about like 70 to 80 percent and we've had a laughable rebounce because like no one actually wants to even like invest in the stocks right now because if i have my savings if i put my money in my bank account with, an, with a gic interest rate of let's say four to five percent and i'm making four to five percent like on that every single year why would i want to put my money into stocks if it's going to decline massively and then i could just wait for an opportunity to come up still get paid interest and i should be fine yes i understand the fact that inflation is a little bit higher and it may potentially outpace but you're still getting something for your free dollar so that would be an easier way to hedge um, just look for an opportunity in my opinion and then once you have the opportunity like in the future, maybe like Bitcoin goes below 15K, Ethereum goes below, you know, 800 bucks, probably capitalize that or the next stock market crash. I do think that this is not the end. Bear markets could typically last a lot longer, uh, typically up to like 2.5 years, give or take. I talked to a lot of my bank friends and everyone's just saying, hey, the bear market's not over. <laughs> like there might be like the next leg down. So in terms of stocks, I'm not really looking at a whole lot of items. The only other thing I'm really focusing on right now for my 2023 goals, um, or just like to build wealth this year, is my brick and mortar businesses because brick and mortar has always stood the test of time. So right now we have a vending machine company. We already do over multi six figures and we make a relatively decent amount. And at the same time, I still have my large real estate portfolio. So I'm not really looking to make like any sort of big expansions in terms of adding more real estate, but more so I'm looking to just boost the profitability of my houses and just in general, the rental properties like the duplexes, the fourplexes, the fiveplexes. Uh, I just find a way to, you know, pass on the utilities onto, let's say the tenants. So let's just say gas prices are way too high. We get rid of the gas furnace. We delete the gas furnace. We'll start putting in baseboard heaters and then you separate the hydro so that the tenants pay the rent plus the hydro. And then that way I just boost the profitability amongst uh, all my, you know, real estate properties or my real estate investment portfolio. And then for the vending machine company, I think that right now this is actually the most stable business in terms of recession is basically recession proof. And then we also have 
a painting company and a construction company that we're actually working on as well. So these are kind of like my main areas of focus. But the main takeaway that you guys uh, want to do is that if you do look to invest into the stock market or let's say markets in general in 2023, I highly advise against it just because like it doesn't really make sense at the moment. And I think the best thing you could do is just save as much cash as possible put into a GIC, get like an interest on your, you know, cash. And then overall, when the nice opportunity comes, when everything else comes, you just buy blue chip stocks. We're just talking about like really safe stuff, you know, like the big tech, we're talking about bank stocks, uh, you know, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, etc. All those major items is what you should be doing. All right, so I hope that really helped you guys out for the year of 2023. It's gonna be a bit of a rough year. I think that things will get a lot worse in Q3, Q4 of this year, but make sure you guys uh, like, subscribe, and we'll do a lot more of these videos, and we'll talk to you guys soon.